Hey guys, how's it going? Corey Smith here, CoreFX. It's uh, July 15th, 2017. It's a Saturday, markets are closed. Just wanted to make a quick video here to show you guys uh, the importance of, of backtesting, something that a lot of traders either never do or don't do enough of. And um, something that can save a lot of money, save a lot of time, test strategies a lot faster and see how effective they are. Basically what, what backtesting is, is going back in time, the historical point of data on the charts, and basically um, going candlestick by candlestick and waiting for setups to set up that you have, that you're, you're, you're testing a strategy. So you have a strategy, a plan, an exact set of rules for if this, 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 and this happens, execute a trade. So you go back into time on the charts and you go candle by candle until these exact setups form and then you make hypothetical entries mark where you'd enter where you'd stop out where your target would be and go candle by candle and see how your trade would have played out basically the, the importance of this is most people either buy a strategy develop a strategy whatever and then just start trading it to see how it works and this can result in a lot of lost time it can result in a lot of lost money a lot of blown accounts trying things out with real money or if you're doing it with demo it could last it could take a long time because you're gonna you know placing one trade live with the markets as you go you could be in that time you placed one trade on demo account you could have demoed you could have simulated 50 trades on a back testing so back testing really is uh, one of those things in Forex that most if not every single one of the successful professional top of the you know top of the food chain traders do at some point in their career a lot of them continue to do it throughout their whole career because the markets are dynamic they're always changing your strategy that worked today might not work tomorrow or three months from now so if you're not testing and, and improving and figuring out what the strengths and weaknesses are as you go then realistically you're, you're behind the curve and that it's gonna end up to you being a losing trader one day and you're not gonna be able to adapt at that point so Back testing is extremely important. It's something every trader should do, whether you just started trading or you've been trading for 30 years. It's a huge, it's, it's basically you can just tweak every aspect of you. Even if you have a successful trading plan, it can still be better. And if you back test it and figure out what you can do differently, it helps. So basically, I'll show you there's, there's uh, some systems out there you can buy to help you simulate back testing. Uh, I've been given one with the company I trade with, but I can show you how I used to do it and how you can still do it with. A platform like TradingView, which is free. Um, you can also do it with MetaTrader, but with TradingView, for example, here I have the um, Euro Aussie up. Scrolled back all the way back in time. We're at uh, April 27th, 2012. Um, basically, I'll just scroll back all the way to the left on the hour time frame chart I want to use. I'm using the four hour. So I scrolled all the way back in time, and basically, what I'm going to do is if you leave the chart here, if you push the right arrow on your keyboard once it's here, let me get on the screen. You see one bar will form, one bar, one bar, each time you push the arrow. So basically, you go to a point in time, you have your checklist next to you of what needs to happen for you to get in a trade. One of mine is an uptrend. So you can see price moving from bottom left to top right, setting newer highs, higher highs, higher lows. We're in an uptrend. So then I would apply my, my things, you know, if it's support and resistance you're looking for. Okay, right, this is actually a demo trade I just took. I ended up being a winner on this pullback with this uh, hammer candle on this broken resistance turn support now. But, uh, so yeah, so you're going to be looking for whatever it is you're, you're back testing. You're going to log your entry, your target, your stop, what you got out at, whether you got a loss, you hit your target, you hit your stop, and record this. And record the reasoning and record, um, take a little notes on what, if let's say you have you need support or resistance you need this you need that but then you have a few additional factors like Fibonacci trend line etc that don't necessarily have to be there for you to execute the trade but they create higher confluence note all that and then once you have a big enough sample size let's say 25 50 trades I would do at a minimum go and see which ones work the most like oh I, I 61.8 fib bounce on this worked 8 out of 10 times when I had that included with it then there you go. You adjust your trading plan. You make it so that you only take trades when they come back to the 61.8 or something similar, you know what I mean? And 
you adapt and you adjust your trading plan accordingly. But all in all, the weekends are a great time to do this. Markets aren't live. You're not missing trades. You're not missing out on anything. You got time to study, and there is no better studying than previous market data history and, and testing things in the market. You can test any strategy you want. Make a random strategy and just go back and back test it. See what it does. You never, you never know. You never know. I've been testing a little bit here. You can see I've taken a few trades, and it's up 40 pips. It's not nearly... A, testable worthy yet but um you know not, not a big enough sample size at all it was six trades but it took me probably 10 minutes to make all six of those trades so what in an hour i can have a decent sample size you know so that's awesome almost 40 trades in an hour that's you can't beat that there, there's no better training you can do than that so on the weekends even if it's an hour on saturday or an hour on sunday two hours on saturday whatever try to dedicate one hour a minimum a week Back testing either the strategy you're already trying, a new strategy, tweaks to your strategy you already have, any of these. Back testing is huge and not nearly enough people to back test. It's, it's one of those things, again, that trading with a plan, having a journal, back testing. These are things that separate the amateurs from the pros. These are the things that the guys who make this a career and the guys who do this for a living do. You know, back testing sucks. It's horrible. Nobody wants to sit here and go candle by candle. No money involved, no risk involved, no emotions involved, no fun, no thrill, nothing. And just sit here and go candle by candle and write down how it worked and what the trade would have done. Nobody enjoys that. Maybe it's exciting your first two because you're like, oh, let's see how the strategy does. Once you're four, five, six, seven trades in, it's horrible. But if you want to get somewhere, if you want this career to be your life, if you want to actually make money off of this, this is one of them things you have to do. You just have to back test systems. You have to back test your own plan, your own strategy. If you don't even have a strategy to back test to begin with, then you got to backtrack all the way. You've got to develop a plan, whether it's one you got from somebody that you need to adjust to your personality because no two people can trade the same way, or if it's a system that you've developed on your own. Like with me, I've over the years spent a lot of money learning jumped system to system for years just like everybody else and eventually of all the things I studied and all the things I learned I picked a part that I liked from each different thing it's all about no strategy can just be picked up and used by anybody everybody's personalities are way too dynamic and if you don't make a strategy to your personality you'll never ever ever have a successful profitable trading ever you'll never be consistent ever unless you form a strategy that matches your personality and your idiosyncrasies, it's never going to happen. So what I've done over the years is I've taken bits and pieces of other things that I've learned. I've learned this from here, that from there, that from there. And I've made my own strategy that I feel comfortable trading that works with my system, that works with my uh, personality. And I've back tested it over and over again. I, I have a strategy now that's profitable that I still back test to try to make it better every weekend. That that's the only way you're going to turn a 50 pip week into a 100 pip week because you adjusted how you take your profit, how you trail your stop, exactly what things need to line up. Oh, I, I realized I lost three trades last week because I didn't wait for a trend line bounce. Instead, I just used the support resistance on Fibonacci as confirmation. Okay, well now, if I backtest and realized how much more profitability and how much higher percentage of win ratio I can have by adding that additional thing, and there you go. Look at how much different that just made my strategy. This is the stuff the pros are doing that everyone needs to realize. There is a reason it is so hard to make it in this business. And one of the, one of the big things is something like backtesting. Something that people don't do, whether they're unaware of or what. But they don't enjoy doing it is a lot of the reason. And they just think they can make it without it. Yeah, I'll, I'll trade enough to figure it out. That's, that's the wrong attitude to approach with this in every way possible. So whether you buy a software and, and use a legit software to do it, you go tick by tick on MetaTrader. You go, a MetaTrader, you can use the F12 function key on your keyboard to go tick by tick. With TradingView, you can just do the uh, arrow. The thing I like about TradingView as well is say I'm at this candle and I'm, I'm testing. If I want to back out, it'll keep it on that candle. Zoom in, it'll keep it on that candle. That candle stays right there. It's not changing. See that? It's beautiful. TradingView is awesome. But... um. Alright guys, just a quick little weekend video going over uh, 
back testing and the importance of back testing. Just wanted to share this with you guys because it's another thing that sets the pros apart from the amateurs. Back test practice makes perfect, you know? And that's what back testing is, it's practicing. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Like, subscribe, follow, core effects on Instagram, Snapchat. Thank you guys, have a good day.